Okay, so we're on the Skyway. Carrera. Wow, it's my first time here. Let's see what they serve. Uh, they're done fueling up the car and our gas consumption is... So a lot of people have been asking me, what is the fuel consumption of a 3255? A six cylinder, 2.5 liter, 3 series BMW from 1992, specifically the E36. And I have been wondering myself that for the longest time. Now the reason why I haven't done this sooner is because as you guys know, or rather the BMW guys know, a full tank of gas in a Euro car is a lot. So for the E36, uh, a full tank of gas is actually 60 liters. <laughs> now I can't afford to just gas up 60 liters just like that. So um, I've been gassing up a little bit more than what I need every week for the past few weeks. And today, this weekend, I'm actually going to finally full tank the BMW. So yeah, so uh, the method we're gonna use is first we're gonna get a full tank of gas at a gas station. We're gonna reset our trip meter. The speedometer is actually pretty accurate. So we can actually uh, use the odometer of this car, uh, more or less, uh, to have a, an accurate figure of fuel consumption. Okay, so here we are at Shell. We're getting a full tank of gas. Here she is. Here's our engine. As you can see, it's mostly stock. Stock airbox, stock engine. I just changed the breather hose and some silicone hoses. But uh, other than that, it is completely stock. As for the wheels, we are running 225-45-17s. Here we go. On. I guess my needle uh, isn't accurate. It's not at full, full, you know, old car problems. But it did automatic uh, here at the pump. So now we're going to reset our odometer. There we go, zero, zero. And we're going to start our journey from here. And uh, as I'm gonna show you, uh, we are doing this test uh, realistically. So I'm still waiting uh, for my card to come back. And the car is actually on already. We have aircon. You can hear it. Fan, aircon fan there. Fan. So yeah, it's gonna be a realistic test. Uh, no, no hyper -miling, no super gas saving techniques just normal driving I'll just pretend I'm not even doing a gas consumption right oh the car is taking a while it's been like, been like two minutes already uh, the only thing I've modified on this car is actually the the, the, the clutch since the clutch was out I got a light and flywheel from uh, UUC uh, I'll do a review on that some other time it actually consume more gas uh, on stop and go traffic since I need to rev the car higher uh, since you know the flywheel is lighter but then on the highway once the clutch is engaged uh, the lighter flywheel should be more fuel efficient so it you know it might just cancel each other out so we actually decided to go to Alabangistan today uh, I brought my passport and my visa and everything and we're going to eat at Yusho Ken and after driving around a lot uh, we're gonna go back home I'm gonna get another full tank of gas then we're gonna see how many liters of gas it took us to complete today's journey then we're going to use how many liters uh, we've loaded up again to full tank. So that's that's the amount of gas we consumed for today and how many kilometers we've traveled. And with that, we're going to get a kilometers per liter reading. And I'm actually quite excited because I myself don't know what that reading is yet. But if I were to guess, um, so far actually, the BMW is consuming less gas than I expected. I'm not saying it's stupid to gas outright, but uh, it has been more fuel efficient than some of the other cars I've owned. Or rather, at least it feels that way. And considering number one, this is a six cylinder. It is 2.5 liters. And the BMW E36 isn't necessarily a lightweight car. So given those combinations, I actually was expecting to be gassing up more than I should. But to my pleasant surprise, I'm actually not. Uh, the gas on this car actually lasts quite a bit. Again, for a 2.56 cylinder. So if I were to guess an actual number, it's definitely more than 5 kilometers per liter. Because um, it's like the Lancer bar type we drive. That does 5 kilometers per liter. It's horrible. And I have this feeling it's actually more fuel efficient uh, than my 4G63 uh, 2 liter 4 cylinder Lancer box type before. Uh, 
uh, this fuel consumption somewhat reminds me, or if not, it's a bit better uh, than the MR2 I used to own, an SW20 uh, with a 3S GTE. That's a 2 liter 4 cylinder turbo. But it's not as fuel efficient as a B80 non VTEC uh, Civic EG that I keep on driving also. So Blutz gets at least, at least on a bad day, 8 kilometers per liter. And on the highway, he has gone up to north of 14 kilometers per liter. Actually, fun fact, that car actually does 8 kilometers per liter on the racetrack. So that's opaque in Clark International Speedway, lapping over and over again. That car does 8 kilometers per liter. So I'm guessing somewhere between around 6 to 9? <laughs> 6 to 9. 6 to 9 kilometers per liter. So that's my prediction. Let's see if uh, my guesstimate is accurate. Okay, so we're on the Skyway and if you see the, the GPS ways, uh, we're doing 60-ish. So there's 62. And our speedometer is also doing around 62-ish. So we can actually say that uh, our speedometer is actually pretty accurate. So since we're in the south, might as well go to the car showroom. Okay, there's this Carrera. I don't know where the entrance is. <laughs> entrance, Doko. Is it here? Oh, here, I found it. I found the entrance, guys. Carrera. Wow, it's my first time here. Let's see what they serve. Oh, Porsche. Nice. Oh, they have a lot of food pala. Starter, sandwiches, salads, pasta, main, coffee, alcohol, beer, uh, cold drinks, red wine, cocktails. A lot. You can go here pala to really like have a meal and eat. Nice, nice. They have coffee, so we just have some coffee, some pagising, before we head back home. Okay, the sun's suddenly gone. So it's a night time. Let's go head home. Alright, so we are here in Petron Fairview. Uh, they're done fueling up the car and our gas consumption is will be revealed on the next episode. That's right, thank you guys for watching this episode of Drive Therapy and I hope you guys will watch the next one. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna go reveal it now. Uh, I'm just gonna get back in the car, so let's go film inside. The results are now in, so I'm also seeing this figure for the first time as well. So in total, we actually did 97.1 kilometers in our road trip. And the amount of gas that we needed to put in the tank uh, to get it back to full tank was 11.85 liters. Now if we compute that, we get a fuel consumption of 8.194 kilometers per liter. So yeah, if you guys like the video and you learn something new like me, I finally know the gas consumption of my car. And uh, if you want to stick around and check out the future content that I want to do, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're bored and have something else better to do, you can go watch our other videos. This is Albert from Drive Therapy, and I will see you guys in the next video. Kachinger.